Good morning, everyone. We are going to talk about Japanese peppermint today. And Japanese peppermint is the product of the month that you can get this month only if you place a 125 point loyalty order. Um, Japanese peppermint is in Tamer. And Japanese peppermint is what makes me love, love, love Tamer. Um, and lots of times, you all know how I feel about um, Digest Zen. I love, 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 love what it does. And I really do not like how it smells. Um, Tamer, for me personally, is it's part of the kids collection. And for me personally, Tamer um, works just as good as um, the Digest Zen for some of my digestive issues. And it smells so good. I mean, Japanese peppermint is, is great. So Japanese peppermint is a gentle, sweeter peppermint. And um, the essential oil is steam distilled from the leaves and stems. I, I read another place that also said that it was distilled from the flowers. So I'm not 100% sure whether it's all three of those or just the leaves and stems, but it's distilled from the plant. And look at how pretty these flowers are. Um, you know, the leaves look just like the mint that grows out in the garden. But the flowers are so pretty. I, I really like it. So there's lots of different um, kinds of peppermint. And we're going to talk about some of the, the different variations and what the differences in them are. Um, but yeah, so you have to look at the Latin name. And the Latin name for Japanese peppermint is Mentha canadensis, is I think how you pronounce it. Um, it grows all over North America, from Canada down into Mexico, in Siberia to Java. It thrives in tropical environments. Um, just a fun fact is that Japanese peppermint is often used to flavor commercial lozenges because of its high menthol content. Um, it has um, menthol and menthone are the primary chemical constituents, but Japanese peppermint has the highest menthol um, content of any of the peppermints and of any of the other oils. So what's the difference between Japanese peppermint and regular peppermint? Um, they're both from the same mentha genus, but they're different species. So regular peppermint is mentha piperita, and Japanese peppermint is the mentha canadensis. They're similar in chemistry. The menthol and the menthone are the primary chemical constituents, but they contain slightly different profiles. And like I said, the Japanese has the highest concentration of the menthol. And the Japanese peppermint is a lot milder than the regular peppermint that we've got. So the emotional benefits, this is a limited type oil and it's just newly available. And so it is not in the Essential Emotions book. So the setup for the emotional benefits is a little bit different than what I usually have. There is a guy named that lives in Australia named Adam Barillet. And I'm going to send you the link to his YouTube thing about um, Japanese peppermint. And a lot of the content today comes from his thing. He, he's just a really cool guy. And he, he does a lot with crystals and um, a lot of different things. But with him, he's the one that I got the emotional benefits from. Um, the different kinds of peppermint have different emotional benefits. Regular benefit, <laughs> regular benefit. Oh, I'm doing good this morning. Regular peppermint helps give us clarity in our life and clarity in which way we're going. Spearmint helps us be aware of subtle energies and even energy from other realms around us. Bergamot mint is really good for our heart chakra and it helps us be aware of our value and it helps us be aware of um, 
how we deal with money. Um, the Japanese pyramid. I'm sorry, I promise I can talk, but this might be an interesting day today. Um, the Japanese peppermint helps us with a paradigm shift. A paradigm is how we look at the world and we get, we get set where we just have this view of the world or view of a situation that is just kind of how we're, it's our default, um, default reaction. Sometimes with one of my sons, um, he would say anything and my paradigm was he's lying. And so every single thing he said when he was growing up, I knew I had to be extra careful. And like, if I asked him, have you done your homework? He would say, yes. If I asked him, have you done every single math problem your teacher assigned? Well, I did one of them. Isn't that enough? <laughs> so that's just a silly, silly example of what a paradigm is. It's the, the standard default thing, the way we look at things. So Japanese peppermint will help us shift our paradigms and open up our horizons, <coughs> excuse me, and help us see new possibilities and new solutions. I've had um, lots of times where I'm in a situation, especially in a relationship, where all I can see is the one way I've been looking at it. And I've got a couple of friends that I'll call up and say, I need a different way to look at this because the way I'm looking at it is not helping me at all. And it just has me mad and angry and discouraged or, you know, whatever. But I need a different way to look at it. And when you're not in the middle of something and you're looking from the outside, then you can see a different way to look at things. And so there are times where I've called up friends and said, please tell me a different way to look at this. And they give me a different way to look at it. And I go, oh, yeah, that could be the situation. It could be that they're not just being rude and everything, but this and this is, is going on. I don't have very good examples this morning, but hopefully you're understanding what I'm saying. So when we're using um, Japanese pe peppermint, then it will help us see new possibilities and new solutions. It will help us open up um, our horizons and it will help us instead of thinking, well, they've got to change or help us that, well, I can't do anything because this is the situation I'm stuck in. It can help us find our own solutions for our own problems. It also helps put worries in perspective. Um, can you remember what you were worrying about five years ago? So that would have been in 2017. Um, do, you, do you remember what you were worrying about? And is that still a big deal? Um, most likely not. I mean, it was at the moment, but as far as having a long lasting um, effect on us or being in a long lasting situation, things change. And so we can look at the things that we worry about um, and we can, um, we can settle down, we can, um, we can diffuse it so we can calm down, we can um, change our perspective and we can um, help find creative solutions beyond what we can see in the right here and now. Um, sometimes we've got a situation um, that we're trying to find a solution for. And this again is a, is kind of a silly example, but hopefully you'll be able to extrapolate it into your own life. So if I want to make a million dollars this year, then I can put some, um, Japanese peppermint on my hand and, you know, take a couple of deep breaths, cut my hands over my mouth. Um, drop into contemplation and write down 20 different ways I could make a million dollars or 20 different ways that I could get more exercise in or, you know, whatever the thing is, the, the situation that you're dealing with, 
And with the, the Japanese peppermint, it will help open your mind to see new possibilities that you weren't thinking of before. So it opens up your horizons. Um, it also can help create patience and peace. It can just kind of chill you out. I think I know all of you well enough that are there, there are times and different ones of us are different levels on this scale, but there are all times where we just need to chill out. Japanese peppermint is a great oil to help you chill out. Um, sometimes we see the struggles that we've got right now and we just think that life is never going to change. But with Japanese pepper, Japanese peppermint, we can realize that good things are coming. And lots of times we always look and say, well, I can be happy when this happens, or I can be happy when it's spring again, or, you know, whatever. Well, the truth of it is good things are happening right now. We just sometimes have to look for them. And so we um, can look for the good things that are right now. We can have gratitude for them. We can relish the good things that we've got right now. And when we have more gratitude, we will feel more joy, more abundance, more pleasure, and more love in the future. So it's great to look at the future and plan for the future, but also appreciate where we are right now and live in the moment. And so Japanese peppermint is really good for all of those things. Um, Japanese peppermint can be used for everything that regular peppermint can be used for. And it can be used aromatically, topically, and internally, um, just like regular peppermint. Um, it will have a cooling effect when it's applied topically. Um, if you've got sensitive skin, then uh, try just a little bit, maybe on your, you know, on your wrist or your forearm, and have your fractionated coconut oil handy, or just if you're doing it topically, just dilute it to start with. Um, you know, better safe than sorry. Um, Japanese, pure Japanese peppermint, which doTERRA's is, can be taken internally. Um, the primary benefits are it creates a stimulating environment. When ingested, it may promote a sense of clear airways and just opening up our lungs and our sinuses and everything, and it's cooling and invigorating on the skin. Um, so there are a, a lot of different ways that it can be used for. Um, for our body, the benefits with Japanese peppermint on our body is it is great for our respiratory system. If you are having a less than easy time breathing, or if you just feel lots of pressure in your head and pressure in your chest, um, diffuse the Japanese peppermint, rub it on your chest with fractionated coconut oil, breathe it in from your hands. Um, if for your digestive system, if your digestive system is unsettled, add it to a drink or a dessert or massage it on your stomach. If you are really hot, if you're having hot flashes, mine have come back uh, again. Um, put some, you know, just apply some Japanese peppermint. It is great for head tension. Um, you can use it for a soothing massage on your mu um, muscles. You can add it into your shampoo. And um, when Adam Verile was talking about it, he says, I just love it because it just makes my whole scalp tingle. So if you want to have a tingling scalp, then put a drop of um, Japanese peppermint in your shampoo and massage it into your scalp. Um, for our minds, the mint family helps stimulate the mind. It can wake you up. It can lift your att attention. It can help you focus your attention um, better on a single item or a single activity. Um, you can drop it on your hand and breathe it in. You, it will help with sugar cravings. So we're all in a time where I think most of us have probably ingested more sugar than what our normal is. And we're coming into a time where we're thinking, oh, maybe I get better get back to being realistic about my sugar consumption. 
So Japanese peppermint is something that can help with that. Uh, it is good if we're in stressful situations. It cools our skin, it cools the body, but it also can help cool fiery emotions. Um, anger and um, anger and passion are very closely related. Sometimes when we get really angry, we need to calm that down, to cool that down. And the Japanese people uh, yeah, if you've got one, that'd be great. Thank you. It can help us so that we can get rid of the anger. We can shift the anger out and we can maybe be passionate about a topic, but we don't have to be angry about a topic. And we can pay attention to what's most important to getting things done. So some other uses, and I'm going to start talking fast because we've got another oil to do. So take or apply diluted to soothe this digestive discomfort. Um, tamer is great for, it's one of the kids' oils. So tamer is, is um, milder than peppermint, so it's great to use for children's digestive discomfort. Um, diffuse and apply to the uh, chest to promote clear breathing. Um, put a drop of, in. Um, put a drop in your hands and rub into your temples and the back of your neck and the base of your skull. If you need to focus, um, if you head tension things, add a few drops to a spray bottle with water and spritz on fabric, upholstery, coats, scarves, and more. You can add a drop to drinks or cooked dishes for a minty flavor and internal benefits. Apply prior to your workout or cognitive performance as a pick-me-up. You can also use it as a post-exercise massage um, to loosen up your muscles and help them from getting as sore. It's clarifying in skin products and can be a delightful aromatic addition to DIY personal care products. Um, it pairs well with wild orange, Douglas fir, cardamom, lemon, and arborvitae. I'm going to send you a sheet that has all of these. I'm going to send you, since there's not a flyer, then I'm going to send you my notes on this. So all of this will be down. For blending, if you're wanting it for your respiratory system, blend it with eucalyptus, rosemary, and or lemon. If you're wanting to calm your digestive system, you can combine it with cardamom and fennel. For a massage, you can combine it with chamomile or um, wintergreen. If you need to relax and let go of anger, blend it with eucalyptus. Um, and cardamom helps you move the anger um, into passion. Anger doesn't have an outlet. Passion does because we can, um, if we're passionate about something, then we're going to do things and stuff. Anger, it just sends a percolates in us and just gets us more and more upset. So combining it with cardamom will help move the anger out and let you get active and proactive about things. If you have a heart problem, as in someone's hurting your heart, then combine it with spearmint, lime, and vetiver, and it will help you understand what's happening and find solutions for yourself. If you need to see the best way forward right now, you can combine it with any of these. You can combine it with fennel, juniper berry, sandalwood, blue tansy, or yarrow, and apply it to your third eye, which is just right here. If you combine it with citrus or herbal um, oils, it will help your focus, uplift your mind and your emotions. And there's a couple of um, diffuser recipes that I'm gonna send to you. And I'm sending you the link for the Adam Barile, um YouTube video. So let's move on and talk about Arbavite. Arbavite means the tree of life. And this is what, it's also known as the um, something red cedar, Can Canadian red cedar tree. I think the pine cones are so cute. I had to show you a picture of the little pine cones and the, the you know, the, the branches and stuff. But this is what the tree looks like. And this is an up close version of it. Arbavite means the tree of life and is highly revert revered 
and used by Native Canadians and Native Americans for canoes, baskets, and totem poles. Arbor vitae trees can live for over 800 years. Now, I also read that after, you know, an arbor vitae tree falls in the forest or whatever, it can still rem remain good and will not de decay for over 100 years. This is why totem poles are around for so long because they use the arbor vitae tree and they last forever. Um, what is super, super cool, I think, there's so many cool things about doTERRA, but this is a, another super cool thing. doTERRA gets the oil, it extracts it from the sawdust and other byproducts. So the creation of the arbor vitae um, oil is waste free and it's sustainable sourcing. It's not cutting down one of these, you know, majestic trees just for the oil. It's using the products that are just, would go to waste anyway, and we're putting them into productive use. And I think that's really cool. So Arbor Vitae has a high content of tropolones, which is a group of chemical compounds that protect against environmental and seasonal threats. It has, they have um, powerful purifying properties and promote healthy cell function. Henokia toll is one of the tropolones in Arbor Vitae, and it protects the body from harmful events while supporting normal cell activity. This compound also contributes to Arbor Vitae's natural insect repellent properties. Fugic acid, which is another tropolone found in Arbor Vitae, has been studied for its ability to protect against common threats in the environment. So Arbor Vitae is the oil of divine grace. It assists individuals who believe or act like all progress must be made through struggle and solitary effort. Everything's just a drag. Everything is hard. Um, instead of trusting in the divine, these individuals unconsciously block divine aid choosing instead to live by their own efforts. Arba Vete is a grounding oil that teaches that divinity or your higher power is all around. Your higher power can help find balance in life and teach what to hold close and what to release. It asks individuals to relax, take a deep breath and trust in the flow of life. It assists the soul to live effortlessly by divine grace. So if you feel if you want to feel less willful, less, ex, less excessive effort, distrusting, fearful, or controlling, Arbor Vitae is a great oil to use. If you want to feel more peaceful, surrender to your higher power, grounded, trusting, relaxed, and feeling grace for yourself and others, use Arbor Vitae. The top properties are its antibacterial, antiviral, antifungal, antiseptic, anti-cancer, anti-tumor, astringent, expectorant, ex insect repellent, and a stimulant. The primary benefits are it protects it against environmental and seasonal threats. It promotes um, healthy cell function. It's a powerful in cleansing and pure, it's a powerful cleansing and purifying agent and it's a natural insect repellent and wood preservative. So this would be a good one to, um, that you could make a furniture oil polish, lemon and Arbor Vitae would be really good to um, put on your furniture or like a wooden, I just had a wooden salad bowl that was getting really dried out. And so I used some of the essential oils to revitalize it. So it was great. So um, some of the top uses for Arbor Vitae. It is good for cleansing. You can diffuse it to purify the air. You can add a couple drops to DIY household clean cleansers. You can add it to a glass spray bottle to spray throughout the home when needed. You can always add a few drops um, in a spray bottle uh, with water and spray on surfaces or your hands for a DIY cleaner. Um, it will repel insects naturally. So you can apply it to your wrists or ankles before hiking or going outdoors. You can diffuse it to repel insects in your home. In, you know, next fall when you're getting all the produce out of your garden, then try um, 
peppermint will get rid of fruit flies, but try adding arborvitae to it also, and I bet it will get rid of fruit flies. Um, it's great for healthy skin. Um, you can apply it topically to the skin to reduce the appearance of blemishes. Um, we talked about preserving wood naturally. Um, oh, here's a, I didn't, I talked, sp spoke too soon. Um, a great DIY essential oil recipe is to mix four drops of arbivitae and two drops of lemon essential oil with fractionate coconut oil for an effective wood preservative and polish. It's very calming, so it can promote a sense of peace and calm. Um, it is great for a, supporting your immune system. You can, if you want, you can create your own cologne with cedarwood, arborvitae, and frankincense. Um, it is great um, if you have fungal issues, you can apply it to the bottoms of your feet or the area of concern. If you have um, unsightly things that come on your lips, like I had right here, and that's why I've got this red dot in the middle of my lip, you can apply Arbivitae frequently to it, and it will help that um, annoyance disappear. Is that a good way to put it? An annoyance? It's an annoyance for me. Um, it can be used, um, apply with helichrysum or lavender to protect against sun exposure. Um, you can apply to the pulse points to promote healthy cell function. You can apply um, a drop or two to your hands and um, inhale or diffuse as desired. Um, and um, a, a massage over energy centers to help your body for emotional balance. Um, for respiratory support, massage one drop over the throat and chest every few hours. Um, if you are, <laughs> if you're dealing with control issues, then you can diffuse it or massage topically over your solar plexus and your heart, or um, you can secretly, I love this, secretly pump it through the vents for control freaks in your life. So if you've got somebody that is just a control freak that is driving you nuts, then um, somehow put it, it, put it in a diffuser or get it diffusing through the vents in your house to help. Um, there's possible skin sensitivity, so dilution is recommended. And then on both oils, the normal things, keep out of the reach of children. If you're pregnant, nursing, or under a doctor's care, consult your physician. Um, avoid contact with eyes, inner ears, and sensitive areas. I'm also going to send you a whole bunch of diffuser blends with Arbivitae and um, the, this cool um, accent. It's not accent, handout about um, some fun things about Arbivitae. So Arbivitae is 10% off this month and the um, Japanese peppermint is free with 125 point P, um, 125 PV LRP order before the 15th. So really, um, really consider that uh, because they're both great oils that um, have just lots of benefit. Plus they smell good. And you know, bottom line, they smell good. So we want to use them.